I'm a builder already, so it's not wasn't that big a deal for me, but it's pretty simple. And I think most people could do it. Everyone in their awnings are closing all the time, they're automatic. This can withstand 50 knot winds. Especially for me, not having a mechanic uh, background, um, I just enjoy learning. You know, I think having a Sprinter van is a math formula. Hi, I'm Ray. Come take a tour. Welcome to the Wookie Kitchen. The cabinetry is built by Zen Vans uh, to our custom order that we work together on. I did a complete dry fit and then took everything out. And that way I knew where I wanted to put my power. You know, for instance, knowing that I wanted to have plugins here, which is just USBs if you want. I have three of them, one, two, three. Um, I know I'm a cook, so I want a gas cooktop. This was pretty sweet. I ended up buying a Westphalia small propane tank. They're made for um, um, Volkswagen Westphalias. Perfectly fits where the tire is. We have a deep sink, it's 10 inches deep. Filtered water, um, we have the um, called uh, Grizzle system and it's um, uh, ultraviolet light. So you can pretty much scoop your water up where you want and drink it. Uh, we have a 30 gallon um, water tank. Um, isotherm, these are marine refrigerators and freezer. The cabinets, these are our, like pantry cabinets where we have all our little goodies. Um, in the, this cabinet, since I have my electronics, we have a water switch, a, um, a heater for our gray water, which is a nine gallon tank from Agile Off-Road. Um, and then I have a, a actuator valve for my gray water so I can dump it anywhere like that. This is where the Starlink is set up and we boot so we can um, communicate and stream a movie if we want to. We have a flat screen back here. Um, also, we have a DVD player in here, just in case. Two Max Air fans. Um, I think that's the way to go, too. You have one drawing in, one pushing out. And we've parked here for three days. It's about 80 degrees. We put the window coverings up on the sunny side. And with the two vans, it keeps it nice and cool in here for the dogs. The baby Wookiees. This is the front room. And, you know, I think having a Sprinter van is a math formula. I, I ask people when I'm at shows and stuff, I'm like, well, how much time do you spend in your shower? Five minutes? Well, how come you're giving 50% of your van space up for your bathroom? Um, so that's why we designed this with, when I designed it with Zen Vans, I wanted a, a spacious open space where friends can hang out. These, both the front chairs, the, the pilot and the co-pilot chairs swivel. You can have two people here, two people here. It just makes it super comfy. These, these tool bags that we have on the back of the seats, it's probably one of the most common things people ask me about. And um, I got them on Amazon. Uh, and then when we, when we inside these AM windows, the sliders at the beginning, um, I, I installed them, I would say uh, the mid 2020 when all hell was breaking loose. Um, no one really had had them yet. They're, they're just coming out. And I was wondering why everyone didn't have them. Now I know everyone wants them and it's the right window to have because it gives a lot of blow through and it, it's, you know, the, the small awning ones open up and they don't give you much flow. This right here is a seat and a Dometic ice chest fridge. Yeah, so this right here is our setup for our dogs. We, it's a perfect place in the pass through. The dogs want to be at our level, hanging out with us. They both fit up here or they want to take turns. They one sleeps at the bottom, one sleeps at the top. Um, and it worked out pretty good. We have the, the Garmin Overlander, kind of essential for off-roading. This overhead storage is essential on these vans. You have this extra space. This is a perfect place to put all your window covering. They roll up, pop up here. I have my boom box up here for uh, streaming some music. And in this industry, everyone's into patches, so we trade patches or stickers. This is a green system that you can click rolls down it's magnetic to get in and out of and this is a dry flush toilet and it's a it's a nice system you can actually unbolt it and put it outside if you want to have a small tent and not have it in here the first cabinets all over like our um, bathroom supplies you know it's kind of essential these quick dry towels it's a have to have they dry super fast they do the, they dry you super fast 
This one's kind of like our Ziploc bags, backup, um, handy wipes, all that kind of stuff. And the back ones are, we have three for clothes. My wife gets two, I get one. Oh, sorry for interrupting that beautiful tour there. But temps are getting pretty hot out there. And if you're like me and you get heat-induced migraines, we found a solution, Mr. Cool. We're Abe and Mel with Tiny Home Tours. And right now we're working in an area where temperatures are reaching up to 90 degrees. We are staying in this 40-foot bus with the Mr. Cool 24K ductless mini split. Now when I get a migraine, it pretty much knocks me out where I can't get any work done or really anything done. I have my desk set up right here and the Mr. Cool 24K is in the back and it's able to keep it cool enough all the way up here to be able to get some work done. With multiple different functions, including heating, our favorite for AC off-grid living is Eco Mode due to the lower power consumption. With this remote, you're able to set the temperature and speed to your comfort level. The Mr. Cool 24K ductless mini split has kept us cool at night and comfortable during the day. And it's kept my migraines away. Yeah, so what inspired me in van life is I, I think it goes back to when I was a, a kid and um, some, my mom was a flower child and she had some friends that had this big milk truck that had beds in the back. And I thought, oh my God, what is so cool to travel around and sleep in the back of a car and in a van and, and, and live that life. So when I first started seeing some of the vans come out, I, I just like, oh wow, this is super cool. So I, I was very strategic. I would show my wife Nancy YouTubes of different vans and say, isn't this cool? Wouldn't this be fun? And right off the bat, she said, yes, God, that should be, that would be fun. Let's do it. But our real inspiration came from that um, I was able to retire, fortunately, a year and a half ago. And Ray was able to um, partially retire. And so we wanted that sense of freedom and be able to explore the United States and other places. Um, but we sure are loving the United States right now and all the national parks and visiting family and friends that we, you know, didn't have as much ability to go drive to, you know, given that we were living on Maui for 21 years. So it's just been wonderful to rekindle with everyone. And you never wear out your welcome when you pull up with your own bed. It's great. You know, people say, oh, I got a room for you. Like, no, 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 we got our bed right here. And they don't understand. It's like, this is like your, this is freedom. Okay, this is uh, the bedroom. And the bed is made by Rome Rest. I can't speak high enough about it. This is a quality bed. It fits perfectly. Um, as you can see, we have these flare pop-outs. It makes it so you can sleep sideways by flare space. Well, the Rome bed fits up into the, nat the, the wall of the van and has inserts that pop in here in the flare. So it makes it way easier to make your bed. They have a five a layer um, foam mattress that is, that's firm and I, it's perfect. Uh, this is our carbon monoxide tester and star mount for the Starlink. This company makes a flat mount for your roof. Uh, so we have our Starlink on all the time, no matter where we're at. So this is our sun visor and um, awning. And, and it's probably the number one thing people ask me about. People stop every time we use it and go, what, where, what? It's made by Sure Shade. They're out of Florida. They're, they, they come out of the marine industry. Um, it's telescopic. You flick the switch and it comes out. Flick the switch, it goes back. Um, it ties in real tight. You don't even know what's up there when in your rack. It was a custom rack by Roma Built, who um, w was marketing, adding these awnings to their um, rack. And, and after I ordered mine a few months later, I never see them online anymore. So I'm not sure what's going on, but I love it. The mind blower about this is like, if you're in any kind of light wind, everyone and their awnings are closing all the time. They're automatic. This can withstand 50 knot winds, supposedly. Now, I haven't tried it on the freeway, <laughs> but I think it'll work. So in building the van, we, he was traveling back and forth from our Maui home and our cabin in Idaho. So the process took about three years, um, which was actually good because then we were able to finance it 
you know, consistently. But more over about that period. six to eight months of actual work. Yeah. But six over eight. that three year span. Yeah. And, and for insurance reasons, we did have to tabulate what everything amounted to, and that was my job. Um, and the and first time she married. found out how much it costs. <laughs> <laughs> we're still married after that because um, hmm. he built a beautiful van, and I appreciate all of his great workmanship and knowledge. Um, but it did come to, we're probably at 220000 total, and that includes the purchase of the van. It does not include, of course, his, his hours of, of work, so if you were to to hire someone to build a van this like this, it would it would be considerably more. So a good comparison is if you look at a Revel, I think the base model's a hundred and eighty-five thousand or something. So this is way more than a Revel, and that's because I put my own labor in it. And to be honest with you, the Zen van package of cabinets came with instructions. I'm a builder already, so it's not wasn't that big a deal for me. But it's pretty simple and I think most people could do it. Okay, this is our garage and it's important, probably the most important space you have because you have all the stuff that you need when you arrive somewhere the, to make yourself comfortable because that's what it's all about. This unit is from Tiny Watt. It's, uh, I call it the power plant. Um, I have 430 amps of lithium batteries and we have on the roof 400 watts of solar. Um, um, they're made by Amp Solar. It's a, a Meridian series, I think they're called. They're real flat and stealth and they take up the least amount of space. I run them one direction down the whole side. That way I have one avenue to go down, walk down the whole way and the Starlink's mounted in the very front. What's nice about the Tiny Watt system is it runs a 12 and 24 volt um, system. The 24 volt power my AC unit, which is called the Cruise and Comfort. They're originally designed for big rigs. They have, um, it's pretty much like this big. And the cooling, uh, the condensing happens underneath the van where the wheel would have been. Um, and it, they're pretty badass. It, the thing really cranks. Um, so that runs on 24 volt and my two refrigerators, which is the isotherm refrigerator and the, the dual um, Dometic freezer fridge. Um, and then I can, and then it's broken down into my different batteries. Um, ha, everything's built in. When you buy this thing, what's amazing about it is all the wires come perfectly labeled and already stripped and crimped. So all I have to do is put your wire in and crimp it. So we use these tubs from Home Depot for like one of these is our first aid um, tools. We keep some camping gear. This is the most important thing in a van. You clean your van really fast with one of these DeWalt battery chargers. Uh, this side is our um, water department. Um, we have uh, on you know on the front here. I I have a, a H3R fire extinguisher. This is something you need to spend your money on. These things are, aren't cheap, but they're going to put out the fire for sure, and they're not going to leave a mess. It's with, with a clear agent. This, this, and then you, if, if you get a, a quick release, you pull that, and the thing comes off. Uh, you know, I, I always wonder why people don't want to spend $300 to save a $300,000 vehicle. Um, and that's the company to do it with. Um, this is the water department. We fill up the water here. It's a 30-gallon tank. I have a Bosch electric water heater here, which is set up, which is kind of a cool concept. We set it up with um, timers. So you can put it on for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, or 30 minutes. So if we're going to take two showers, we put them for 30 minutes, we'll get four gallons of water and that will be able to dilute with cold water and each of us have a shower. Okay, what's super important about your storage on a Sprinter van is you need all the space you can get and you better make sure you have a space for everything. It makes it so much easier. This is where we keep our, our shore power, our fresh water fill up. I have some fishing gear in here and have all my air down equipment. So if we're going off road, I can air down easily without having to dig around for stuff. These are our levelers. They actually make them a little longer. I just cut it off because I don't need that. A little extra space. And wait, we have this bamboo fold out for standing on when you take a shower. And this is a um, camp chef grill. I have a nice stainless steel folding table that slides in in the back. Bike rack up top. Easy place to put firewood when there's no bicycles. And that's as simple as that. We have a a snow shovel on this side, 
and a sand shovel on that side. I've had so many, I've had a lot of careers in my life. And so now I'm kind of fading into this Wookie Van Builders consulting. So I, that's what I'm kind of, I'm doing. Most of the time I just love doing it. So I do it for free, but I mean, for someone that really wants to build something, you know, there's a lot of research that goes in. And if you can just be guided in the right direction, what is the good product? What's the junk? And there's, there's a lot of stuff coming, imports coming in that it's not quality and depends on what you want. I think how we would inspire someone to have this life is really, it sounds funny, but baby steps. You just take little steps at a time. Decide if you want to get a, 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 a Sprinter van of Mercedes or the, the Dodge or the Ford, I think Ford makes one, and decide what you want in it. If you're not a builder, maybe you should go more of the storyteller route. Um, or the or the Revel Winnebago. Um, I think you know if you, there are some websites where you can find vans um, used. Some people got in over their head and they're starting to pop up on the market now, and you can kind of swoop in and. Um, but to be honest, they really do seem to hold their value. Mm -hmm. And uh, other ways that we w try to inspire others is just by showing them the lifestyle that we have and and uh, showing that it's possible. But we also love the small uh, group trips. Uh, we've been doing Sprinter Overland trips and we did not anticipate having um, new friends and fun relationships and new adventures, uh, especially, you know, a little later in life. And that's just been so wonderful. But especially for me, not having a mechanic uh, background, um, I just am enjoying learning. And so just by keeping my ears open, asking questions, uh, sometimes there's mechanical problems and you see how they're solved. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. And we're seeing a lot of women too uh, with their own vans and you know, they, are, they can keep up the conversation with the men in terms of the mechanics of it and all the components, just, just the same. Yeah. So uh, I'm inspired by them. Thank you for watching. We have a good, you know, we love being able to share our experience with you, the viewer. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can find me through um, Instagram, um, Wookie Vans. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Wookie Van Builders will give you some advice. Thanks for watching. Hit the road. You only live once.